Hello my friends, uh, welcome back to part 2 of yesterday's live stream. I did say I would be do another stream uh, tomorrow and tomorrow is today. Uh, let's see who we got here today. Uh, we've got Star the J94. Hello my friend, nice to see you. Oh, Charlie's Trains says hi. Hello Charlie's Trains. I want to say as well, Charlie's Trains, thank you so much for the t-shirt. I, um, I love it. It's the perfect size, it fits really, really well, and it's actually one of my, it's actually one of the comfiest t-shirts I actually own, so everyone go subscribe. This, a fan actually sent this to me, my friend, my, a fan sent this to me in fan mail, and it's actually, this is actually not a bad looking t-shirt, actually, is it? Just, just show it off. <laughs> but Charlie, thank you, um, thank you for so much for, uh, for the t-shirt. Uh, Charlie's Train says, uh, I'm in KFC. Nice! I literally just had some KFC and I bought some Tango as well. And I bought a 10-piece bucket, which is good. KFC is uh, very fattening, but you know, it's enjoyable, but it's a bit greasy. But anyway, in today's live stream, my friends, we're gonna, as I said, we're going to continue for what we were doing yesterday. We were weathering my um, castle class, which is actually, I, found, I actually found out uh, yes, well, after the stream, uh, that was actually a bit of a mistake because this is actually, this, the castle class I've got is actually a special edition. Um, and it's uh, Earl of Mount uh, Edcombe, and it's actually quite valuable. And I think I've just lowered the price on my own castle class, but you know, I guess that's my own fault. Hi, ladies, Jerry. It's me, Joe. Uh, is it Jerry from Discord? Hello, Jerry. Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, Charlie Trains gives me the thumbs up. Love the thumbs up, Charlie. So, uh, let's quickly have a look at see how well the uh, castle class looks. I actually did a bit more. Um, to it. When the, when the live stream ended, I actually um, finished it off and I sprayed it with varnish last night. And I think the varnish is dry ish. Actually, no. Um, oh, I think, it, I think, I think it's um, I think it's dry. So let me look, like, move it into shot for you guys so you guys can actually see. Um, but I actually have done the other side as well. So it is like, I think it's completely done. Let me just show you guys the tender at the back. Uh, let's hope the uh, my webcam will be a good boy in focus today. Um, don't think it will though. So if it doesn't, then uh, never mind. But let's just turn the loco around so you guys can actually see the front of it. So yeah, there we go. That's a, that's actually a good shot. So it's a little bit dusty at the front. I still need to fix uh, one of its headlamps because it fell off uh, during the process of um, of uh, painting. So just like see if I can lift you lift up the front so you guys can actually see. There we go. So look at the look at that lovely worn dust look effect. I think that looks great. Uh, but there is a piece on the castle class that's actually missing. It's actually the front bit, uh, the the handles for the smoke box doors. It was actually like that when I bought this, so it was already not worth that much anyway. When the day I bought it, but look at the rust look effect on on the buffers as well, and the um, and the plates, and the rivets as well in the um, in the plate. It's just amazing. Uh, are you going to run it today? It looks amazing. Thank you so much, my friend. It does look amazing, doesn't it? I put a lot of um, hard work into this. So that does look really good. I'm really glad how well the worn looked look effect has um, has actually come out on this. This has actually has worked quite well. And I'm actually very happy about this. Let's see if we can try and get that in shot for you guys. So 
if it'll focus on my hand and then you know, hopefully the engine uh, there we go uh, but that looks absolutely splendid so the actual engine is actually completely done uh, it's, as I said, it's not as well worn as most uh, trains, but I don't want this to be too worn or too clean. I just wanted to sort of, um, I just wanted to just a little bit of a like a hard-working castle class as it should be. So, so if we see if I can try and get it in shot again, so you guys can actually see. Uh, there we go, Earl of Mad Edcom. That's actually a good shot for you guys. And I love how dirty and worn the rods are as well. I'm actually glad how well that actually came out. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna test it. Uh, I'm just reading the chat at the moment. Uh, my Black Five uh, caught fire. Oh god, that's not very good. Um, but how is everyone today? We have Jurassic Park uh, 1993. Uh, Hello, my friend. Nice to have you here. Dylan uh, Stay Stayton. I think, I think there's an L Stayton. If that is your name, says hi Oliver. Hello, my friend. Nice to have you here. So anyway, what we're going to do now, my friends, is we're going to test the castle class and see how well it runs. And if it mean it might, the wheels might need a bit of a cleaning because uh, they might be they might be dirty. Uh, Harley's I'm here. Uh, hello, Rainbow Dash. Nice to have you here. So what we've got here, my friends, we've got something really special for you today. Uh, let's just move um, uh, the castle class out of the way. Because what I have here is we have this amazing um, rolling road for you guys. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to actually test the rolling road and actually get a good sh shot of it, of, of it actually moving. So I'm not actually going to test it on my track, but we're going to actually test it on the rolling road so hopefully we'll see how well it runs and if it runs well and that's fantastic so let's see if i can i want to see if i can get it in a in a good shot so i'm going to move the camera just a bit so you guys can actually uh, see it and hopefully it'll stay in focus for you guys today uh right okay so where should we put let's put get the cast classes i'm actually hoping fingers crossed that this will actually uh work so let's just put her on the rolling road if it will stay on there we go. Right, I don't actually know if uh, if the castle class is actually going to work. So, um, you know, fingers fingers crossed. So, this is the first time I'm actually going to be testing this and see if it actually works. So, if this actually does not work, at least we've got it on a live stream. So, let's see. Uh, can I get a shout out, please? Please do not ask for shout outs, my friends. That's actually one of the stream rules. Please read the stream rules. Uh, right, let's see if it works. So, here we go. Give it a bit of power. Ah, no. Uh, the wheels are not actually working. I think I knew I would give the wheels a bit of a clean, but let's move it forward just a little bit. Let's see if we can just. No, that's not <laughs> that's not good, is it? Oh well. Well, as I said, we we do need to give the wheels a bit of a clean, don't we? If, if anyone owns a rolling rail, don't do what I'm doing. This is actually not the right way to to do it. So let's just try and. Oh God, that's not very good. Just try and like, like shimmy, 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 shake it so it will get um to start. So it'll still start getting a bit of speed. So hopefully, yeah, it's it's not good. I think I might have to give it the wheels a bit of a clean because the paint has has got caught on the wheel. Sadly, um, I saw some um. Oh, you saw some what, my, uh, Frankie? Um. You have Discord server, yes I do. Yes I do indeed, my friend. Right, let's just see if we can try and get this working. Oh, I saw a spark. Oh. Okay, so it works that way. So I think we're just really gonna need to leave it worn in for a bit. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit temperamental, isn't it? But we'll just leave it running, shall we? And let the um just let it worn in for a bit. There we go. At least it's moving now. It's, it's moving. It works. Hooray. I'm not sure if it'll work at a slow speed. So let's just have a look and see if it works at slow speed. Actually, it's not so bad. I still I still might need to give the wheels a bit of a clean, though. Hello, Oliver. Uh, I, have, I have one of your favorite trains in my train set. Oh, is it the Flying Scotsman? Please let it be the Flying Scotsman. Uh, I have a horn. Sorry, uh, I had a hornby, but my track didn't work. I might fix it one day. That's a very good idea, my friend. It'll be the uh, sorry. It'll be best to take the shell off 
and give the wheels a good clean. That is a very, very uh, good idea, actually. Um, what do you need? What do you use for cleaning wheels on Hornby trains? Do you guys actually know? Because I don't actually have a clue. I don't actually have. I don't. Actually, I don't actually know how to clean wheels. So let's just slow it down just a little bit. Because everything's still a bit rusty. Well, not rusty, but, but I think because the paint has dried, I think it's a little bit stiff. So we're just going to leave it worn out. I think I might move it just a little bit so you guys can actually see it, see, see it from the side uh, a bit better, hopefully. So let's just move the camera a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. But that, that doesn't look too bad, but you can actually see it's, a it's getting a little bit stuck. So I think it needs to be a bit unstiff because of all the paint. So how do you guys, do you guys know how to clean um, uh, Hornby train wheels? Because I haven't got a clue. Uh, it's best to clean uh, wheels with cotton buds and rubbing alcohol. Alcohol? Hmm. Well, we can't use water, obviously, because... Um, Water electricity, bad, bad mix. Okay, let me just sort out my table, well, my desk. Right, let's give it a bit of power. Let's speed her up a little bit, shall we? There we go. Wanna get, we want some speed, that's what we want. We want a bit more speed. So let's just put up just a little bit more. Is it the Flying Scotsman that has two tenders? I do actually have the Flying Scotsman that has two tenders, believe it or not. Okay, so that is maximum power. It's not so bad, actually. It does run quite well. It's a little bit stiff, though. Indeed, it is. So I think we'll just need. To, I think it just needs running in. But apart from that, I think it looks great. The the weathering. I I would give it maybe hmm eight out of ten. What do you guys think? I mean, it's not the best weathering I've done. But it's not the worst either, so I think I'd give it possibly 8 out of 10. Well, actually, no, that's being generous. I'd, I'd, if I had to be honest, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a 7. I mean, what, what do you guys think? Uh, what equipment do you use to stream with? I use uh, OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Open Broadcast Software, I can't even speak properly. Uh, do you ever play Roblox? No, I don't. Uh, Josh plays as iLazyJet. Hello, my friend. Uh, the big boy is really cool to see up close big boy i haven't got big boy i don't have big boy my friends what are you what are you guys talking about what are you guys talking about i'm just having a quick look at the other sides see how well the other side looks i think it looks quite good i'm actually glad i actually have this rolling road it's a big help with my equipment uh i know laser used uh sandpaper it works really good sandpaper can you, guys, can, can we use sandpaper on these wheels? Um, laser, uh, get the... Oh, God. I can't even read that word. Uh, I see the big boy, laser jet. And the big boy was huge. It scared the crap out of me when I see it whistle. Oh! What, in real life? Yeah, the real life big boy is massive. Uh, Lego Alexander. Oh, hello, my friend. Nice to have you here. Charlie's train gives it a 10 out of 10. Wow, Charlie, that's very generous of you. Thank you so much. The real loco is back up and running. Indeed it is, and it's much more cleaner than this, isn't it? Much more cleaner. Great job, my friend. What equipment again? I forgot. OBS, Open Broadcast Software. Can you DM on Discord? My username is... <laughs> Oh, sorry, I just hit up. I'm not going to say that out loud. Uh, have you seen the Polo Express? I've seen the film, but I've never seen the real uh, Polo Express in real life. I know someone who has, though. Um, Scottish guy. Uh, hello, my friend. Nice to have you here. Did you... Uh, sorry, uh, I read that wrong. You did good on the engine laser. Oh, thank you, my friend. Right, let's slow it down just a little bit. Just, just to see how well it runs at slow speed again. Yeah, it's still just a, still a little bit stiff. If I have, if I have it on slow, it's still just a little bit stiff. Yeah, nah. just a little bit, but not too bad. I mean, I think we can, st I think we can still fix that. And Frankie is sending me loads of boops. 
on Discord. So that's it. That's at slow speed. What's that noise? Did I just get a message on my phone? Let me just quickly check my friends. Let's put my headset over there. I actually um, have some bad news for you, for myself actually, my friends. Um, my phone is actually broken and now I can't use it, sadly. So that's actually um, sad news for me. I'm going to have to get that fixed tomorrow. But um, I'm a little bit sad today that my phone's a bit broken. Oh, Frankie just sent me a link to something. Let's have a look. Uh, this is what I was talking about, uh, clean the wheels. Ah, that's good. This is good stuff. That looks like good stuff, actually. That'd be good. Yeah, I might buy. Do you know what? I might. I might buy that tonight, actually. Thank you, Frankie. And we need cotton buds, don't we, to clean to 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 to, to specially clean wheels. Okay. Um, let me just quickly read the chat. Laser, have you seen a real life Ginty? Nice work. No, I haven't. Laser, I had the flying Scotsman, but it broke. Aww. I'm so sorry, my friend. It sucks when you have a flying scops and then it breaks. Right, let's give it a quick uh, spin up again. Let's give it a little bit of power. I think it's just because the because the rods have been painted. I think it's because it's a little bit stiff. Dip some cotton buds in it and use it to clean the wheels. That's a very very good idea. Yeah, see, if you look at the wheels, it's a little bit stiff. It's going, it's making sort of like this. It's going, so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit stiff, but you know, not a little bit of cotton or cleaning stuff wouldn't, wouldn't help. I mean, that, I mean, it would help actually. Uh, Sam's Trains has a video on it. Okay, I'll have to look on Sam's Trains, won't I? Get some advice from him. I mean, he is, he is, Sam's the man. Um. Wheel cleaning, yeah, that's what that's what I need to look at, um, Frankie. Thank you, thank you so much for showing it me. But I do have one concern, actually, my friends. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but I'll use one of my paintbrushes to point it. But I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but this wheel here is very badly warping. I mean, if you look at this wheel and then the front wheel, if you look at this wheel, then the if, sorry, the front wheel and the middle wheel, it's practically moving straight. But if you look at the back one, it's actually warping quite badly. I don't actually know why it's doing that. Is that a fault in the bill, or is it, or is that just normal? It's not very. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a train. I'm not a Hornby expert. I just buy them and just have fun with them. I don't actually take the time to learn how they all work. I think that is, sorry, I think that if you had an empty room, make a train layout, maybe use Flying Scotsman or Mallard or the Polo Express. Sam got 50k subs. Indeed he did, my friends. Indeed he did. One day this channel will hopefully hit um, 50,000 subs. But, you know, we can only hope. I mean, just keep doing some good work. That's what I say. Uh, that wheel really doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. It looks very badly warped. It's warping quite badly, and I think that's what's causing the engine to sort of shudder. Laser, do you have um, any Thomas? Um, I have a Backman Thomas, if that's what you mean. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's one broken wheel. What do you use to get the hall class on the uh, did cop? Sorry, what do you? Uh, I was read that wrong. Do you? What do you, uh, do you use to get the hall class on the uh, did cop route? Hall class? What hall class? Hi, uh, Lava. I think it's supposed to say laser. Um, what's the, um, what's the stand called? The stand is, it's a rolling road. It's actually a power thingy you use to plug, you plug in your, you plug in your controller and you just plug it into the rolling road and, um, I mean, I bought my rolling road for about £90. Uh, but it's a, it's a, it, I think it's worth it though. It's a very good, handy piece of equipment. Right, I think we should uh, turn the engine off now.
There we go. Just power it down. Power it down. Power it down. Is I have a layer, and my favourite model is the um, silver fox. Is it silver fox? I think it says. Guys, make it. Uh, go, uh, sorry, guy, make it so Laser Jet has 100k subs. That would be amazing if this channel ever hit 100,000 uh, subscribers. Right, let's um, let's move the rolling road out of the way. So we'll just pop that out. Just pop that there. Uh, let's have a look underneath to see if there's anything I need. So, but well, let's just quickly switch the camera quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move the camera down so you guys can actually see. Uh, what I'm doing. So let's move the controller box out of the way and let's just have a little look underneath to see if we can actually find a way to to take the cover off the actual uh, engine itself but I'm not actually sure how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, gently unscrew this. I mean that's, that is actually a very loose screw. There we go, so let's unscrew that and take the tender off. Well, the tender's got a chip in it. Let's just see if we can try and gently pull that out. Do you want to be very gentle with this? I don't want to actually like break it. So if I if I said if I actually do accidentally break it, at least I've got that on the live stream so you guys can actually say how, what a bad model reviewer LaserJet actually is. No, I don't think that's coming out. Alright, um let's tell what, let's just put the um tender back on let's just screw that back in ah, screw that back in get in there get in there it's a very loose screw as well all right i need a screwdriver so let me just head on to the box let's get a screwdriver out because i actually need a screwdriver it's not it's not sonic sadly i wish it was ah, there we go so let's pop that And here we go, doing some uh, tinkering. Never thought I'd actually do some, any tinkering before, but there we are. Hang on, let's just tighten that up. Uh, right, let's put the cost cost that way and just take, I'm sorry, the switch. We want to switch now. We want to be a switcher. Ugh. See if this is the right size. I thought I'd actually attempt to do this, but there we are. Is this the right screw? I think it is. Here we go. You don't want to lose a screw though, very important. Never lose a screw. Alright, let's just gently see if this actually comes off. Be very careful. Is there there might be another screw somewhere that goes in? Could be wrong. Be very careful. Is it gonna come off? Oh, there we go. Aha! Right, that's off. So let's just. Oh wow, that's actually pretty um, pretty good looking inside, isn't it? Well, let's put the tape back on. Put that there. This is actually the first time I've actually seen the inside of the uh, of the castle class. It's pretty nice actually. So we can just sort it out. There we go. Ah. Well, so we'll move this to one side just just for a second. Okay, God, look at all this um, unstuck paint that was on the tender. Okay, right. So let's have a quick look at this. So there we go. Do you know what? I should have. Do you know what? I think uh, you guys are right. Maybe maybe I should have taken this off first, then paint it, and then. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm I'm so dumb. You're the best, ladies and yeah, and Sam's trains if he's watching. I don't think Sam's trains will be watching, but you know, if he is, then you know, hi Sam. <laughs> but um yeah, I don't think Sam has got like way better things to do than watching like an idiot like me. God just nearly did you guys see that? I actually nearly dropped it, but I just catched it with my pinky. Like my pinky was actually in there and it just caught it, so good job, Pinky, for um for saving my engine. <laughs> Just have a quick look around. The weathering is, isn't actually so bad, actually. So I'll give you guys a quick look, so you guys can actually see. I mean, it's not the best. As I said, it's not the best weathering I've ever done, but it isn't the bad. It isn't. It isn't so bad, but it isn't the best, but it isn't the worst. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, that's um, it's not actually so bad, actually. I mean, this side does look more cleaner. 
especially like when near the front. But on this side, it's got like a lot more um, dirt and dust and muck on it. But that's the good thing about weathering. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I like weathering so much, because it doesn't actually have to be perfect. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the rolling road again. And then put this back on and see um, how it runs again. Probably, I don't know if it will make a difference. Probably not, because it's only just a cover. So uh, let's get the power box. And I'll switch back to the other camera for you guys. You can actually get a close up of this. So let's move my screwdriver and my paintbrush out of the way. So you guys can actually see. Let me just sort out my um, my desk. My desk is a bit dirty at the moment. So I just need to give it a quick wipe. There we go. Right, so let's move that back just a little bit. Hopefully you guys can actually see that all right. So let's give it a bit of power. Yeah, see it's, it's stopped again. I think it's all dirty. I'm gonna have to give it like a sh like a shake. And I can actually see in the wheels of where it's dirty. I think I might have got a paint on the pickups as well. So let's go, have, have it really slow. Yeah, you can actually see how bad. Hold on, where's my paintbrush? Here we go. My point. I'm gonna call it my pointing brush. You can actually see how badly worn. Well, not worn, but warped. Uh, the, the back wheel is compared to the middle and the front one. Let's just look at the back and see how badly it's warping. I mean, sadly, I don't actually have a cotton bud or any cleaning fluid to actually clean the wheels up. But you can actually see in the um, well, you can just just generally see in 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 the stream that you can tell how dirty and grotty the wheels actually are, especially on around the outside. So. That's actually not bad. That's actually not good. So, might have to find something to clean it. But now I know for next time, eh? At least I know for next time. So, let's just give it a little bit of power again. Let's just slow it. So, you can actually see how badly that wheel is warping now. So, let's just slow it down again. Let's see, let's see how well it runs when it's running at very slow speed. So it's like it's it's crawler gear. Mm, it's not so bad actually. I kind of I thought I mean I thought it would be worse, but actually it's it's not so bad. It's just that that's you can actually sit here. It's going. Them. I'm not sure if that's the rods fault because I painted over the roll the, the rods sorry or if it's that back wheel so I'm not sure if it's the back wheel that's making it go zoom 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 or it's the rods because I painted over the rods I'm not actually sure what's causing that but I, have to, I guess I'll have to look into that won't I well what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to leave the castle class uh, like this for now. And I'm going to buy some cleaning fluid and some cotton buds. And I'm going to give the wheels a bloody good clean as well. So when it's all clean, it'll be nice and running. It'll be up and running again. So I think that'll be a good idea. So let's just um, stop the castle class for just a second. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave the castle class to one side for now but um but it's actually it's actually not running as as worse as i th as i thought it'd be i thought it'd be like not moving at all but actually that's running um as well as much, it's running much better than i thought it would be so that is good so let's just move this to one side just put it over here Put this screw in a very, very safe place so I don't accidentally lose it or misplace it. So let's pop that. Let's pop this screw in a very safe place. There you are. There you go, big guy. And what we'll do is we'll put this, uh, well, the, the shell of the castle class, and we'll move it and we'll put it on the very top of my desk. So we'll just pop it 
uh, there next to my American Flying Scotsman. Okay, well, that's that then, is it? Oh, hold on. Oh, no, sorry. I thought I heard something then for a second, but never mind. Okay, um, so that's that done then, yeah. Obviously, good. How is everyone doing so far then? Marvellous. Oh, I think uh, we're at the end of the stream at the moment, and we've only been streaming for a little while. Actually, I've got an idea. Actually, you guys wait there, because I've actually got a good idea of what we could actually um, run for you guys before we end the stream. Let me grab a menu. I'm going to run this. One of my favourite engines of all time. But weirdly, I mean, Flying Scotsman may be my most favourite engine in the world. Weirdly, this isn't my favourite model that I own, weirdly. This, is, this, isn't the, my, this isn't the best model that I've owned. Uh, oh, uh, the wheels are still running, so let's just put that back on. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, this, I mean, Flying Scotsman is my favourite steam engine of all time. But for some reason, I mean, well, actually, there is a reason I actually have for this. But um, I just want to say that this particular model is not my favourite model that I own. It's actually the Backman Tornado, believe it or not. But look at that. Uh, got to go, Lisa. Loving your, sorry, loving what you're doing here. Thank you, Charlie's Trades, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. So let's give Flying Scotsman a quick run, see how well she, and see how smoothly she runs, shall we? Yeah, see, look at that. That's just really, really smooth. Hopefully it will stay in focus for you guys. But look how well that just runs. It's so beautiful, isn't it? I think we should, um, should move you guys a bit so you can actually, can actually see the whole uh, locomotive. You can't really see the tender very well, but do you know what? We'll just we'll we'll, we'll just leave it there. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can note still out focus. Come on, get in focus for you. Can I get in focus for you? I shouldn't really be moving Scotsman while it's on the um, uh, rolling road. I'm being very dangerous here, aren't I? Lazy Jet's a very dangerous YouTuber. Never, never trust him. Never trust Lazy Jet. He's very dangerous. Well, irresponsible. Can't really get it in focus for you guys, which is a big, big, big shame. Come on, go in focus. Be a good little webcam. If I put my hand here, will that go in focus on my hand? No? Focus? Yes, I know. I've got dirty fingernails. Leave me alone. Focus. I demand you to focus. It's only focus on the Charlie's trains. It's focusing on my backhand here, which is something I don't actually want it to do. Why is it focusing on my T-shirt? Yeah, she's. It's only focusing on my T-shirt. That's really annoying. Just have to reposition and see what we can do. If I move out of the way, will that work? No. Ah, oh, nothing I have works anymore. Oh dear, never mind. Uh, oh, oh, is it in focus? There we go. Oh, yep, there we go, right. There we go. That's good, isn't it? Do I have Mallard? No, no, I don't anymore. I, um, I threw it away because, uh, sadly, my Mallard broke. I need to get a new Mallard. But that's actually not a bad runner, though, Flying Scotsman. It's not the best, it's not the best runner I've ever actually owned. Actually, the best, the the best engine I've got running, or well, the best running engine I have right now is actually um, Tornado, the Backman Tornado. That is pretty though. I mean, you can't deny it. Flying Scotsman in LNER Green, it is pretty. And it's very enjoyable to watch as well. I mean, I could watch this all day, but unfortunately, that is not the case. But F Flying Scotsman's wheels are actually pretty badly warped as well. I mean, if you guys look at the um, at the front wheel, right about here, I mean, you can see how badly that one's warped. And if you look at the back wheel, that is really badly warped. And the middle wheel is actually quite warped as well. So all the wheels are actually quite warped. But I have actually had this. Um, actually, believe it or not, my friends, this model, this, this actual particular model, this Flying Scotsman model here, this is actually the Flying Scotsman model I bought from the National Rail Museum in York for my very first Lazy Jet Fan Me Up. So that's what makes this model very special to me. Because this model was at actually at the very first fan me up I ever bought. Well, this was, sorry, this Flying Scotsman was at the very fast, very first fan me up I ever owned. So that's why this model is very special to me. 
So what we're going to do now, my friends, is we're going to end the stream for tonight. I hope you guys did enjoy it. But uh, I will need to give the castle cost a bit of a cleaning before it will be ready to be back in service for my layout. <gasps> oh, sorry, I just hiccuped. Uh, but until then, my friends, have a good evening. And I will see you guys again next week. Um, I hope you did enjoy the stream. I and mean, Normally, I do one live stream. Um, well, today I was supposed to live stream on Twitch, but that's just not the case today. I mean, I did promise you guys I would live stream today. But I have, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All links are in the description. Actually, no, are they? Yeah, they are. They're, 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 this is a Twitch stream. Not Twitch stream, YouTube stream, sorry. Oh, I can't even remember what I'm saying now. But until then, my friends, have a good evening, and I will see you guys again next week for another live stream. Take care, my friends. And remember, it's all about the game. Bye.